Welcome everyone, you have your Google Pixel 8 Pro uh, to set it up. If you have any accessibility options, you need to turn on, tap the arrow, and you can change these. If you need to change your language and region, tap the language and region, and then change it to the one you need. Once you're happy, let's tap on Get Started. And from here, you should see set up using another device. If you have an old Android phone only, and this can be any old Android, if you place your old Android near your new one, you should get an option to transfer your Wi Fi network and your settings to your new Google Pixel. And this will just help speed up the setup process. You would tap on setup and then your accounts, your settings, your Wi Fi will move over. However, if you don't have an old Google Pixel or you have an iPhone, we will need to tap on skip. We will then need to enter in the login for our Wi Fi network. So I'm going to do this one now. We will now see getting your phone ready. And if we chose to set up our phone manually, it will now ask us to sign in to our Google accounts. Google account is essential to use most services on your phone, like downloading apps, making payments. So if you have a Google email, enter this one in here. If you need to create an account, tap on create account and follow the on-screen instructions. In my personal case, I'm going to log in manually. Once we are signed in, let's tap on agree to add the Google accounts to our Google Pixel. We now see connect to mobile network. If you have a physical SIM card, then you can insert it to the Pixel 8 Pro because all models have a physical SIM card slot, unlike iPhone. If you use eSIM, you can tap on download eSIM to scan an eSIM QR code. You can't transfer eSIM from an old phone, so you would need to call your carrier to get a new eSIM QR code, which you would scan. I have dedicated tutorials on inserting SIM card, activating eSIM on my channel. Just search on YouTube, how to insert SIM card, Pixelate Pro, or how to activate eSIM, Pixelate Pro to find my videos. We don't need to do this now, so I'm personally going to tap on skip and then skip again. Set a pin, so this is the screen lock. If you want to change the screen lock, tap the screen lock options. And so I'm going to enter in my pin and then next. Then I'll re enter my pin. Google Pixel 8 Pro has a fingerprint unlock. So let's scroll to the bottom. And if we want to use fingerprint unlock, let's agree. If you don't want to use fingerprint, select no thanks. We now see how to set up fingerprint and we'll tap on start. So you need to hold your thumb ideally, but you can use any finger. You need to hold it on the fingerprint sensor and then release and it will do a scan of your thumb. And you need to repeat this process, but each time slightly change the position of your thumb. So you can see I'm moving my thumb to the sides, up and down, just so I'm getting a scan of all of the sides of my thumb. There we go. And if you want to add another fingerprint, tap add another, otherwise tap on next. You can always add more fingerprints in the settings. Face unlock. Let's uh, turn this one on if we want. So you will need to scroll to the bottom and then either agree to use the face unlock or no thanks if you don't want to use it. I'm going to select I agree and then start. So we need to place our face in the frame and then 
can see here, tilt your head up, tilt your head down, and there we go. The face unlock has been set up. From here, it's asking us if we want to copy apps and data. If you do, be your old phone, and then tap on next, and you will need to connect your old phone to your new phone. And I do have a dedicated tutorial on transferring data, which I will leave in the description. But if you're having issues, all I recommend is this. The common issue is your charging cable won't connect to your Pixel, and there is an adapter in the box. So if you plug your old cable into the adapter, you then plug the adapter to your Pixel, and then you'll be able to connect. But for this video, I'm going to tap on Don't Copy. We now see here Google Services. You will see this if you chose to transfer data or not. And so, do we want to use a device backup? I personally turn this one off, but if you want, you can turn it on. It will just sync your messages and settings to your Google account. I personally leave this off. Location, I recommend you leave this one on because most services need your location. But remember, they have to ask permission before they can use your location. So it's not like every app is going to be able to see where you live. Scanning, this allows your phone to scan for Wi-Fi networks and Bluetooth, even when Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is off. I personally turn this one off. If you leave this on, it will improve the accuracy of your location. Um, so if you're having location issues, you may want to turn this one on, but I haven't noticed any issues when I have this off. Sends data to Google. I personally turn this one off. And then if we scroll to the bottom, we can tap on accept to confirm our choices. Warranty, if we tap on our country, it will show the warranty information. Uh, for most countries, you just get one year. Some countries you get six years by law. We'll tap on next. And then continue setup. If you want to set up Google Assistant and Google Pay, we'll tap on continue. Otherwise, we'll tap on leave. For this video, I'll select continue. Use Assistant without locking your phone. So if your phone's locked and you have this on, then you can summon the Google Assistant with that command you see here, hey, and then the name, or okay, and the name. And so if we scroll to the bottom and we want this, we'll tap on agree. Otherwise, tap no thanks. We now need to set up voice match. So this is going to take recordings of your voice and then use those recordings to only summon the Google Assistant when you are speaking. So let's scroll to the bottom, and if you want, you can agree to this, or select no thanks. If we agree, we need to speak what it would ask us to speak. Because I've already done this in the past, it's not asking me to speak, but if it says, you know, like, hey, assistant name, blah, 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 just speak what you see as text. It's now asking us to set up Google Pay. If you've used the card in the past, you tap on Next, and then just verify your card information. For me personally, I'm going to tap on Skip, but you just need to add your card information, like you are you know, making a purchase, and it will set up your card for Google Pay. Anything else? If there's anything here that you may want to change, just tap on it to go to the setting. Uh, we can always change this stuff later. So I'm going to tap on no thanks. Stay up to date. This is asking you if Google can have permission to send you marketing. I'm going to select no thanks. And we'll patiently wait here. Now we see here, swipe to navigate. If you need a tutorial on how to use the new gestures, let's tap on try it. And then you can see go home. 
and we need to do a little flick from the bottom of the screen. There we go. And to go back, you can either flick from the right hand side to left or from the left hand side to right, like that. To switch apps, we need to swipe up, hold, and then release. So it looks like this. Swipe up, hold, release. There we go. And then we'll tap on done. If you do not want to use those swipe gestures, then let's tap on system navigation settings. And we're gonna switch gesture navigation to free button navigation. We'll then tap on home or we'll flick our finger up. And now we've set up our Google Pixel. With that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.